Hey everyone, how's it going? So I've been having a lot of fun doing some different Pokemon surprise folds, and I thought I would try another different one today. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Charizard versus Blastoise surprise fold. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Charizard versus Blastoise surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to begin by taking my paper and folding it in half by lining up the corners and giving it a nice fold. Next, I'm going to line up my corners again and give it a nice fold right down here. Now, once I open it up, I have these three little guidelines in here that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. Now, let's begin with Charizard, and we're going to put him over here. So let's start with his eye. I'll begin right here, and I'm just going to make a line that just goes down, and then it's going to come back here in a check mark. Next, I'll make a little line that comes down. Then we'll draw another little line that comes across here. We'll draw a line that comes down here. And then I'll make a little line that's going to come down and then a line's going to come up here. And then right here I'll make another little line. And then I'll make a little half oval shape right in there. Now starting here I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up right in front of the eye. And then I'll bring a line that's going to curve kind of up here for the top of Charizard's head. Up here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up, we're going to go down, and then I'm going to bring it right back to here for the horn. Starting here, I'm going to bring a line that comes out. We'll make a small little bump that's just going to come up and down here. We'll make a little curve. And then underneath the fold, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and then up here. We'll come straight across, and then I'm going to curve it up here. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then right over here, let's just make a line that's going to come over here. But you don't want to go all the way to the fold, just keep it above it. And then right here, I'm going to make a little line that comes down for the detail on the neck. Now, after we have Charizard all drawn, then we want to begin by adding Blastoise. So we're going to start right over here, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to begin by making a line that's just going to come down and then back up here like a check mark. We'll make a little line that comes down. And then I'll make a line that comes down here. We'll make another line. And then I'm just going to make a line down, and then a small little half oval in there. I'll make a small line right in front of the eye. And then right here I'm just going to make a little line It's just going to come down here. And then we'll make a little line right here for part of the nose. And then I'll make a little line that's just going to come down here for the front of the mouth. Then I'll add a small little curve back here. Next, I'm going to bring this line up here for the top of Blastoise's head. Then I'll make a little line that's going to come up here to a point and then down for the ear. Next, we'll make a little triangle shape right inside of here. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a little line that comes right down. Then 
Now starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down, and then we're gonna bring it down at an angle. Then I'm going to just bring it up here. Now starting here, I'm going to bring a line that's just going to come down, and then I'm going to kind of curve it back like this. And then starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve here. And then starting right about here, I'm going to make another one of these little curved lines that comes right to about here for part of a shell. Then starting here, we're just going to connect a little line. And then right here, I'm just going to make a little line that comes down. And then we'll add two little curved lines right here. Now this is our basic shape of our Charizard and our Blastoise. Then what we want to do is open this up and draw some detail on the inside. After it's open, we have our two halves of our Pokemon characters. Now let's go ahead and begin with Charizard. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to bring this line down here first. And then I'm going to bring this line up just a little bit. Next, I'm going to bring this line and kind of curve it up. And then I'm going to bring this line over to here. Then I'm going to bring this line straight across. And then I'll just curve it up here. Right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down and up for one of his teeth. And then I'll do a second one right here. And right here, I'm going to make his tongue. So let's just draw a line that's going to curve down. We're going to come up. And then we'll just bring it back to here. Next, let's work on Blastoise. I'm going to begin by making this line come down. I'm going to make it come up, and then down, and then up again. And then right here, I'm going to make this line come up just a little bit. Then I'm going to bring this over, and we'll just kind of connect it right here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to bring this line down, kind of like a straight line down to about the middle. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to bring this line up just a little bit. And then what I want to do is I want to make his little cannon coming out of here. So I'm going to start right here at the edge of the paper, and I'm going to draw a line that comes straight across here, and one that comes straight across here. Then I'm going to connect it. And this is going to be part of a shell. Now let's draw the cannon. So to make the cannon, I'm just going to make a little line that comes out on each side. And then I'm going to make a line that comes down here. I'm going to make a line here and a line here. And then we'll just draw another little curve line down. Then I'm just going to draw another little line down here just for some detail. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that comes down. We'll jump over the cannon and just connect it to here. Then I'm going to make a little triangle for one of his teeth and then one right here. Now to finish this off, we just have to add both of their attacks coming out of here. So we're going to do the fire for Charizard, and then we're going to do the water for Blastoise. So I'm going to start right here at the fire, and I'm going to make just kind of like a wavy, pointy line that comes right to here. And then I'll do the same thing down here, just make kind of like a wavy line that comes down. 
Then I'm just going to make some kind of real bumpy, wavy, pointed lines in here. Now for the water coming out of the cannon, I'm going to draw a straight line here and then a straight line here. Kind of a little bit at an angle. And then I'm going to make some wavy kind of lines that go right to here. And we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to make some wavy lines that come up. Then we'll add a couple little kind of broken lines in here. And then a couple little broken lines in here. And then I'm going to make some little water droplets coming off of here too. And there you go, there's your drawing of Charizard versus Blastoise. So when we have it all closed up, we have them looking right at each other. And then once it's all open, you can see Charizard is shooting his fire and Blastoise is shooting his water at him. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.